Hans Wormhat. This video, I just have a huge collection of screenshots, mostly from Reddit, just things that I've been researching today. And that means that the topics might jump a little bit, but that's fine. I just feel like putting out a video and talking about training land, talking about being awake, what it's like being awake. And here, I want to start with vaccines because a big part of stuff I collected today is things that Reddit pushes really hard. And Reddit is just a big glimpse into the hive mind. Reddit itself equals 33. Reddit's color is orange. And the little Reddit logo is just this little creature that doesn't look male or female, just this little robot creature with an antenna. Like they're just receiving the orders and just receiving the marching orders with that antenna and going forward they have a hive mind and one of the most obvious things is vaccines you will see vaccine posts on reddit every single day bashing anti-vaxxers and it's never anything good it's never linking to science articles it's never linking to anything that's comparing and contrasting the risks associated with no it's always just well, it's usually just attacking. Oh, anti-vaxxers are stupid. That's like the bulk of it. So uh, what I was looking at here, I was trying to look up, and this is just what you notice when you start to question vaccines. It's really, really hard to find the information that you want to find. And everything is very specifically tailored in only one direction. And so what I was trying to find, I. I would I just knew that travelers gypsies would have less vaccines than your average just Western person and so shouldn't there be a bunch of studies out there seeing if they have higher rates of whooping cough or if they have a lot more infant mortality I wanted to find studies on that kind of thing doesn't exist you're gonna get studies like this and it's all that it's going to be looking at is how can we get these groups that notoriously have less vaccines how can we get them to take vaccines that's the only studies that are out there because that's where the funding is how can we get people to take these and they're just desperate to have complete submission by people they want there to be the way that they would want it is they would want for everybody to be able to vote and force vaccines on everybody. And it looks like it's getting to that point. And in some countries, I, I believe it already is at that point where they're making it illegal to not be vaccinated. And uh, it's sick, it's really sick. I don't, this video is not gonna only be about anti-vax, but it's just a huge thing. It's a huge thing that the hive pushes. Okay, look up some real figures. Between 2003 and 2012, 12 babies under one year old died of whooping cough in Australia. So over nine years, 12 babies. But look even what they say here, the majority were too young to be vaccinated. What does the majority mean? Does it mean seven out of 12? Does it mean 11 out of 12? Just statistics in general, anybody who's taken a statistics course should know that a sample size of 12 is unacceptable. A big thing with things like this that you need to realize is if a child dies and the child happens to have whooping cough, that will be counted in this. That might not be the only thing that the child has. This could be a totally preemie child and then they catch whooping cough and then they catch this and then they catch this and then they die. But how do you, can you really blame all of that on the whooping cough? And those are just some things to to think about because whooping cough always gets brought up as as one of the big things oh if you don't get your child vaccinated they absolutely will die of whooping cough that's how some people feel and it's crazy but vaccine vaccination is not immunization they'll just ignore stuff like this dozens caught whoop, whooping cough anyways just because you're vaccinated doesn't mean you're immunized More evidence explains why whooping cough cases are increasing. And P 
people are more about vaccines these days than they ever have been. So why are the cases going up so much? And they'll probably say, oh, it's all the anti-vaxxers. No, anti-vaxxers are few and far between. So that's not really a good explanation. So here was a post on Reddit. I was looking, so I was just looking through the front page to find, uh, I wanted to find anti-vax posts because I knew I would be able to find them. And this was one of the posts, what can just F off? I knew that there would be a comment that said this, anti-vaxxers can just F off. So they're not presenting an argument. All they're doing is name calling. They're just saying that we need to F off. So not very convincing. But the one thing that you always need to be, be paying attention to is pay attention to people's usernames. Pay attention to timestamps on things. You have no idea how many shills send me emails at like 3.30 exactly, or like 4.33 exactly. And same thing with, with things like this. Oh, they're just name calling. Anti-vaxxers need to F off. Look at their username, godless. I get hate comments all the time. I take a look at their icon and it's skulls and bones. I take a look at their username and it's something that has a 666 in it or a 33 in it, or it's just a demonic username. And that's part of their MO is they have to show you what they are. Because then it's your fault because you should have been paying attention. Here's some fake news from Reddit. Japan mourns after the worst mass killing in two decades, claims 33. It's just once you're awake, paying attention. And it's easy enough that there's a lot in, in the club that are mentally challenged. And so I'm not trying to make fun of them or anything. I'm just saying it's that easy. Pay attention to orange. Pay attention to 33. That's it. And you'll wake up. You'll start to notice how it's everywhere and how BS this stuff is. And the more you wake up, the more you start feeling God and being present with God, your eyes will just open more and more to the deceptions. And you'll get better at spotting these things. This is just what people look like these days because people are transgender these days. It's not a man. Wonky eyed. F T M. Here was, a, here was another anti-vax post. And what this post is supposed to be, so you can pause it and read it if you want. Somebody's claiming, oh, my child got autism even though they didn't get vaccines. That's the gist of this. But in, in a way to make the anti-vaxxer look even stupider. So that's a classic post. And so here's just the thing. People question, well, why? Why would they do this? Well, because we live in Satan's world. Is it to dumb us down? That one doesn't work either because autism does not mean stupid. There's such a push in tranny land for you cannot demonize it, what they think in their eyes. You cannot talk down on protected classes. Autistic, people who get screwed up by the system, it's a protected class. You're not allowed to talk down on them. That's why there's Facebook posts of, oh, look at this beautiful, this beautiful girl. And it's somebody with this debilitating, really horrifically ugly disease, but everybody shouting how beautiful, that's tranny land. That's how this place works. If you got maimed by the system, or if you got turned retarded by the system, there's just an unspoken rule that you're not allowed to talk bad about it. And in fact, they'll even turn it into a good thing. These days, there's a huge push for people. People are proud to be autistic. Aut autistic people have their quirks. They're unique. They fulfill a niche. They're, they fulfill certain roles in society where a normal person wouldn't do that, but an autistic person will be good at that. It's, they've made another class, really. It's what they've done. It's like a chemical, uh, what would you call it? And they used to do the ice pick lobotomy. Now they do a chemical lobotomy. And it's, in their mind, it's fair because it's like a lottery. No, of course, vaccines can't give every single person autism, but it's like a lottery. It's going to create this class of autistic people. And sometimes in the comments, you'll see people that get it. But I don't know, like, 
Here, not an anti-vaxxer, but I figured they are saying the risk isn't worth it. I don't think they believe people are intentionally, inf well, a lot of us do believe that they are intentionally doing it. Here's somebody who, they, they have some idea of the arguments. Argument number one, but look at how it's, they never try to really put themselves in our, in somebody else's shoes. They're condescending even when they're presenting another argument. When, when you're looking at something from both angles, you need to do a good job giving arguments for both sides. Just to give an example of if you're like playing a game of chess against yourself, is that are you really playing against yourself if when you're playing as black, you do a really crummy job and you make sure to play really good when you're playing as white? You, you're supposed to give the best argument you can for both sides. But look here, evil government uses vaccines to make people stupid, autistic, ex, et cetera. Uh, okay, that's not that, that's not that bad because I just agree with that at face value. The government is evil and they do that. Stupid government, stupid doctors use vaccines which have more drawbacks than advantages because they are stupid. It's just, you see what I'm getting at here? They, um, they're not giving an argument in good faith. They present a bad argument for anti-vax and they say, look how stupid they are. But I do agree, doctors are stupid in that they're not using critical thinking skills to cure people. They're doing what the books told them to do. They're doing what the establishment tells them to do. That's enough for vaccines in this, I think. But it's a big topic. This is just something that gets pushed on Reddit every single day. They have bashing anti-vax people. And maybe that means that vaccines are gonna be a really big part of the ushering in the NWO end time stuff. One world government, it'll probably have mandated vaccines and who knows what they're gonna put in it at that point. Here really quickly though, before I stop, talking about vaccines that is, is this push for autism acceptance and normality of autism. So many people in the comments, my brother and my best friend are both autistic and they're living happy life. They're like, well, and their lives aren't horrible, so I guess it's okay. Do you not think that's an issue that both your brother and best friend are autistic? Why are there so many autistic people? I have autism. And look, look what they say. They would rather have their children sick or dead. Uh, yeah, I would rather have my child get the whooping cough and survive because it's not that deadly. If you go look at whooping cough, it's not that deadly. We have modern medicine that is gonna keep your child alive. And that's a big, a big thing that they push. Oh, you're anti-vax, therefore you're gonna let your child die if they're bleeding out. No, 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 that's not it at all. If my child got whooping cough, I would certainly take them to the doctor and get them treated for it. And they would survive because we have good medical. So, but in their mind, if you don't get vaccinated, you're dead. <clears throat> my cousin is the smartest one in my family and has severe autism, okay? My brother's on the spectrum. Why are all these people, it's not supposed to be like this. So here's a comment. I've always wondered what would happen if a non-vaccinated kid got autism. Now I know that they will just make something else up. So this is in response, going way back to what, this was a post where allegedly somebody who didn't have their child vaccinated got autism anyways. But look at this. This is, a, this is pretty obviously a doctored image. And so all of this fuss in the comments, I just wanted to include this because this is what the internet is in 2019. A fake image that there's a bunch of rage, people going in the comments and bashing anti-vaxxers, bashing anti-vaxxers, and it's a fake image to begin with. That's just classic internet, 2019. Moving on to something a little different. Reddit loves to push fake outer space stuff, of course. Oh, cool Photoshop. Go outside at night, it doesn't look like this. This isn't what it looks like. Outer space, the way that NASA tells you is fake. There's a firmament, flat earth. The stars are inside of the firmament. They're not that far away. And then look at this top comment. How would this look with the naked eye? Nothing like this. <laughs> yep. Did you guys see this Google thing today? Of course, they got to push the NASA stuff. And I just saw the ladder and I thought of Jacob's ladder. It's just a big symbol in Freemasonry. 
and it's from the Bible. And then if you click on it, it brings you to this YouTube video. The thing I thought was most interesting about this YouTube video, they have the likes and the dislikes disabled because they know these days there's a lot of people that know that this stuff is fake and there's actually a lot of people that comment about it and but the problem is is that there's always tons of shills out there ready to silence you or they'll just silence the comment section themselves like this no comments allowed on this google doodle about nasa because they don't want the top comment to be that nasa is fake one thing that you can always do with these little clips at at the 33 second mark exactly is when this little piece shot off. And I've just noticed that a lot of times in, in things, there will be something significant at the 33 second mark. So I don't think this was like crazy significant, but it did line up exactly with 33 seconds that this thing separated. Another random thing from Reddit. It's just like an old school cool thing but I thought the top comment was funny, except for blaspheming Christ, it's disgusting. Uh, that woman could probably kick a rhino to death. Look at this. Yeah, trannies have always been here. Chun-Li legs. That broad, flat, long torso. Muscles too, so muscular. It's just a dude with long hair. And you got a little dinky T-Rex. You got T-Rex. Just more from Reddit. We have an FTM transformation. They're, they're women, that's a woman, it's female. And they can pump a bunch of tea and they can get okay. But then look at that collarbone, that's dinky. It's like a toothpick. Sloped narrow shoulders. Female lips, the lips. See the cutesy, cutesy top lip? Up, down, up, down. It's just FTM. Curved neck. This was just something, WWE debut seven foot three monster. So it's some new Andre the Giant thing. Dr. Teeth, 33. Flabby, they're just always flabby. Small head for the body. Just the way it fits in the jeans, it's ridiculous. I didn't get the best shot of this one. You can go look it up if you want, but totally FTM. I picked it because this top comment was funny. He, she moves like her knees are already failing her. <laughs> yeah, the knees were tiny for such a huge person. And I picked it because of this one too. I'll just stand here in the middle of the ring and let everyone come to me. A lot of these super giant people they have horrible mobility, they break their bones all the time, and they just look intimidating. They're, they're really not very useful. <laughs> and that's what this clip was. It was a GIF, and the, the super tall person was just standing there, and these other guys, these other FTM, were running at him. Then he'd grab them and throw them down. Uh, it wasn't very physical. It's all a play. It's just all an act. They're just like, wow, you're really big. That's it. This subreddit was called Squared Circle, which interested me. And I guess it's because, so I believe that the earth is a circle within a square. Four, I think there's probably four corners of the earth, but then there's a circle within that with the dome around it. And I think that's one of the reasons they like it. And also because there's the alchemical symbol and this is just connected with, I just picked this because that's what this subreddit was called. It's very connected with the occult, with alchemy. The union of man and woman. This creature, gosh, eunuchs have long fingers and this one is really odd looking and we're surrounded by odd looking creatures and it's because they're trannies, they're transgenders, it's a huge class of eunuchs. People probably used to know what they were and I mean they know what they are and once you get the eyes to see it's like having the glasses from They Live. This is not what a man looks like. 
And just it reminded me of the scene from Idiocracy, totally unrelated, but I got reminded of the movie Idiocracy and I was looking through images. What do you know? So this, this character was supposed to be like a Chad type character that had all sorts of children out of wedlock with other women. Look at what number they were, 33. So again, unrelated. This is just a grab bag of different things that I looked at. I say that baby gorillas are CGI, and I say that great whites are CGI. And that's really what a lot of the production is going into in Hollywood, is deception like that, the big deception. I just saw this when I was browsing through Reddit earlier today, or something, I don't know if it was from Reddit actually, but look at that, it's a CGI hamburger. Okay, if they're gonna CGI a hamburger, they, they can CGI anything, and they do CGI stuff all the time. When you start paying attention to, you'll see, and there's a lot of shows where they'll have just a CGI background, and you wouldn't have noticed it before, but now that you're awake, you can just tell. The 33 on this reminded me of this 33. It's all around you. You're in tranny land. This is how people stay awake too. You stay awake because it's always there. It's always reminding you. When I was looking for Gerald, a bunch of these people came up. This, I wanted to keep going with the idea of we're surrounded by wretchedness. We're surrounded by trannies. We're surrounded by people that are really ugly. Just, they are. And it's because they're transgender. Oh, doing the hidden hand. Look at this. It's not a man. See this head? Tiny, tiny head? It's not a real man. No philtrum. Space between the lips and the nose. There's no room for a mustache. It's a tiny head. FTM. They're all around you, all walks of life, all income levels. And some look straight up demonic. They probably have demons in them. So those were images that came up when I searched the internet for Gerald. So I, I typed in Geraldine. Now we get the Adam's apples. Now we get the long necks. Now we get, oh gosh. Um, why do I get square jaws and long necks and Adam's apples and broad shoulders when I search Geraldine? Because you live in tranny land. That is a man. Why didn't we wake up? Well, your nose adjusts to bad smells. Why can't you smell your own home? Why can't you see that there's a bunch of trannies around you? Well, it's because there's a bunch of trannies around you. You can't see the forest for the trees. Oh, this was just annoying. Um, some, Just something on Reddit. We're just surrounded by horrible, horrible people. We can't have nice things. This was a kind of an odd tree growth and somebody recently just cut it down and left it there for no reason and just left trash everywhere. I, I don't bet, but why does just so much evil and horrible stuff like this exist? They're Baphomets, they're Baphomet trannies, most likely, who did this? I can't imagine a real human being doing something like this. But they never turn on one another. This is where hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. They will never rat one another out. If you're a tranny, you're on team tranny. And they have the rules, but other than that, it's a free for all and they don't turn one another in. Even though they're horrible people. And they keep going with the system, even though they know it doesn't work, they know it sucks, they're miserable, they're depressed, but they keep going. This was just some blasphemous name. I am Marx. They think of themselves as gods. 303, zeros don't really count, so it's basically like a 33. And Tom Tom, they like things that repeat. T -O, Tom Tom, it's a duality reference. I don't think normal human beings make a bunch of names. I just see names all the time where stuff repeats. Their name will be literally something like Sunflower Sunflower. Like, why would somebody do that? But it's one of their signs, one of their symbols. Meow, meow man, 8080. 
probably an FTM. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end with just one more topic and it's dead bedrooms. And I have a video just on this already, but I don't mind talking about it again. If you're in a relationship with a Baphomet, it's almost guaranteed to turn into this, into a dead bedroom type scenario. And what I have here is I just have different things that I've picked. And I was in one with my MTFX, and it's just because that's what Baphomet trannies do. They'll lure real humans into relationships with them, and but they're narcissistic and they're an invert, so they're screwed up, and, but they'll just drag you through the mud with them. So I picked this one just because I want to show the abundance of... I didn't look very far. I just clicked through the front page. There are so many stories out there of women whose husbands will not have sex with them. That is not correct. That's not how real life works. Men want to have intercourse, want to have sex with their wife. They would have it every day. So why are there all these people out there where their husband is constantly rejecting them? And it's because their, their husband is a tranny. Their husband is an FTM. They either have low libido, which is very common. Why do you think Viagra is such a huge thing? Real men do not need Viagra, but the trannies need it. And FTM, they get addicted to pornography because they'll oftentimes be really into nasty MTF. They'll, they'll get a real woman, they'll have a real woman as their wife, but they're actually more into the gross MTFs. And so they'll have a porn addiction or a lot of times they're homo. They like other FTM and they like dressing up in their wives clothing. So common. You have no idea how often I, I would read that on dead bedrooms where they're like, and my husband dress up on my clothing and it's sick. Um, I told my husband I want to divorce him, tired of the constant rejection and him telling me categorically we will never ever have sex again. Do you think that's a real man who said that? So here was a different one. I think not all of them were women who my husband won't have sex with me. Because another thing too, I want to do a whole video on this. I don't have time because this video is already super long. But I want to do a video on, on relationships in tranny land and on homosexuality and what it really means in tranny land. Because when you have all these invertos, what does that even mean anymore to be gay? And like if an FTM is with a woman... That's really kind of like a lesbo relationship. One of them just has a she penis. And uh, so whatever, reading this one. She says it is not me, that she has no desire. So just in my opinion, this is a case of, it's probably an FTM with an MTF relationship. MTF, a lot of times they have no sexual drive. They're a castrated male. They have no sex drive. A lot of MTF, they only use sex as like a tool, as something to get something out of you. And they'll do it to lure you in and then just use it to manipulate you. My sex life with my boyfriend, five years, has always been pretty crappy. Hey, that's not normal. <laughs> that's not normal. It's because your boyfriend's a free martin. Not enough experience and not being outgoing as other men. Basically, I was always the one initiating and the one doing all the work as he just laid back and had me on. I've heard this before that people where they just make the woman just get on top and do all the work. That's FTM. These are free Martins. This isn't normal behavior, not normal human behavior. Why are there all these relationships out there where the woman is wanting to have sex and the man is just not doing it? That's not real life. That's Inverto Tranny Land. You must love me and find me attractive, right? Wrong. And they're probably attracted to trannies. I guess it's worth talking about here. I have many, many examples in my life of people's parents that they find out that their dad, who was an FTM obviously, loved watching tranny porn. And so I can just give one example in particular, somebody's parent was uh, a veteran, but whatever, war is fake. A veteran who would just get totally zonked out on pain meds, and they would just watch tranny porn 
in the living room like nobody could see what they were doing. And this is just FTM uh, living their dream. <coughs> Here was clearly an MTF. I'm tall, really petite, B cup breast, brown hair, straight body with not a lot of curves. Yeah, you're an MTF. My husband and I have been together seven years and sex has just slowly decreased since then. Now we have sex maybe once every four to six weeks. Each time it's been prompted by me calling him out. Do you think that sounds normal? No. You're in tranny land. Not only do we rarely have sex, there's no affection. That's not how men work. Men, men don't want to have sex just once every four to six weeks. These are free martins. So many. This was a post from a woman whose husband didn't want to have sex with her. Honestly, I could have written this word for word. It's really, really common. You can just go check dead bedrooms for yourself. It's probably more common for there to be women who have a quote unquote husband who doesn't want to have sex with them. My husband and I used to have a completely ridiculously dead bedroom. For almost a year, he rejected me and blamed me in ways that really hurt. I've been with my LL means low libido. Here's kind of a 33 reference, so I don't know if this person's MTF or not. I've been with my low libido boyfriend for nine months and I posted before on her different username. It was good for three months and then dwindled to nothing. Uh, porn addiction is just huge. And we know that porn is a bunch of trannies. Yeah, so this is just a common thread. Rejection. What, what kind of a guy would reject sex from their wife? That's not a real man. Look, look at this. Here, I just included this because this is Baphomet behavior. This is how Baphomet trannies act. I thought maybe he was getting bored, so I spent quite a bit on a sexy outfit. I got all made up, dressed in the outfit, and was so excited to show him. He laughed as I was making him uncomfortable and wouldn't look at me. I was mortified, took it off, and got rid of it. He has made comments about how I'm curvier than girls he has been with in the past. I'm not huge, but I'm definitely pear-shaped, which has made me self-conscious. This is an example of a real female in a relationship with an FTM, and they are mean, nasty creatures, and they will destroy your self-esteem. And yeah, I mean, maybe some of them out there don't know who they are. That's an unknown question, or don't know what they are. And, but those ones probably wouldn't be so mean and nasty. The, this is just an example of Baphomets. They will get with normal humans and destroy their lives and just be disgusting. All right, so <laughs> ending on a on kind of a sad note, I know, but this is something that I've had personal experience with because I've been in a relationship with a Baphomet and I know that there are so many women out there that are in relationships with FTM. And if they just paid attention to the red flags, they would know and just look at their skulls and bones. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've never done one like this before, so please leave a comment. Let me know how you liked it. God bless everybody.